So one of the pieces of work that I've been involved with was examining the educational outcomes of children born to women in treatment for opioid dependence during pregnancy. I'd been working with the clinicians who care for these moms and babies for years, and one of the things that we were working on together was looking at the delivery outcome, so how healthy the babies are when they're born. And what we found was um, that the babies are born pretty healthy. So what we're seeing in Vermont is if a woman gets into care early during pregnancy, um, their babies have good health outcomes. So we linked the clinical records um, to the educational records. And we studied, you know, for babies that had a known in utero opioid exposure, um, what their educational outcomes were. And we compared those to babies of a similar so socioeconomic um, background who had no known in utero opioid exposure. What we found was that the groups were surprisingly similar, that for these babies who got into treatment, they were having similar um, outcomes that sort of gave us insights that maybe, um, you know, these secondary prevention measures that we've been really stressing in Vermont have, have had some effect that, you know, people, babies are getting into treatment, their moms are getting into treatment, and they're having sort of equal educational outcomes as their peers.